The coordinator of the internally displaced persons camp and home for the needy, Pastor Solomon Folorunshaw, has said the IDP camp has produced six medical doctors from Nigerian universities and six support for well-meaning Nigerians to feed the camp inhabitants as economic hardship has threatened the future of other IDP students aspiring to become professionals that will help to build a better society. Pastor Folorunshaw made this statement while speaking with Asaba correspondent Akomajero Friday at the camp in Uhugwa, Ovia North local, local government area, Ovia North East local government area of the state. What can I see that we had a good intention of accepting these children because it's not their fault that they ran, it's not their fault. They, they would have all been dead, but God saved them and brought them here. And it did, the mandate was on us, you know, to make something good out of them than just keeping them and then they go and become street beggars, street urchins, criminals, and the country becoming more insecure. It's not being multiplied. Uh, we have six that just came out once. Next year, you're going to have more, 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 more are coming out. There are very many. There are very many in different schools. You know, when you do something, when you start something, maybe small, but as it grows, it will begin to multiply. That's what we are seeing here. Many doctors. They are going to be everywhere in the world. I mean, you know, because my greatest joy is the kind of education and the kind of moral life we give them. No cheating. No oppression. Humanity deserves care. Be kind to all. No tribalism. No religious bigotry. On her part, one of the medical doctors, Favo Ogenetega, who is from Isako, not local government area of the state, said the economic hardship has affected them as students due to lack of money. Um, we were so many and the cost of medical books were very very high and so we had to like um, wait for our classmates to like finish reading before we can borrow their textbooks and use to read and so we did not allow that to I did not allow that to affect me I made sure that I continue to study hard and continue to um, struggle just as pastor advised me that I should not look at my background I should not look at where I'm coming from that God can take me to where I, I want to be. Like if I want, if I say I want to become a medical doctor, that God can do it for me, and I should not look at anything that was any challenge I was facing at the time. Hardship of the country is also affects us with the students. Though not only in this country, but also the entire from uh, Nigeria citizens are also affected. So we also like to call upon the government to come and help us because of the hunger and we also need school fees. Yes, yes, it, it affects my education. Not only this one, but it affects, it deeply affects my education because it's not just imagine for a student, a student will just go to school with hunger. You won't even eat anything. Coming back in the evening before you see something to eat, please. The thing is, the thing is affecting me, especially me. I can't even read if I did not eat. So we also need them to please help us with food. Health um, care aspect, we are facing a lot in terms of uh, drugs. We are deficient of many drugs, as common as essential drugs here. Yeah. We are, uh, we've been managing um, diseases, um, common diseases, malaria, skin infections, and uh, many other illnesses. So the drugs that we have in here is just uh, few that we can give to some. So most of the challenges we are having here is the drugs. So we need more drug and, and, and apart from that, the space. If you've seen the, the health center, it's too small. So we need a bigger and a lighter uh, uh, space. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.